Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to shape your um, breadsticks. It's really pretty easy. Um, it looks fancier than it is. So my dough is finished rising. You can see that it's definitely risen, doubled in size. It's really nice and poofy, um, which is great. Again, I'm making half the recipe, so it's less than what your, your dough will be a lot more volume-wise. Um, I just have a little bit of spare flour you can put in a deli container. You'll need a bench scraper and you're gonna need a scale. You can use one of the regular kitchen scales. I, this is just what I had at home. Um, okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take our dough and turn it out onto the surface. Um, you can see it's nice and soft and light. All that is perfect. You don't want it to be dense. That would be a problem. Um, it uh, will dry out if you're working with it for a really long extended period of time. So if I have <clears throat> what I usually do is kind of cover part of it and then, then whatever I'm working with I'll just cut off with my bench scraper and have that right in front of me. So um, we make two ounce breadsticks here um, which is about the size of what you would get at like the Olive Garden. And the way we guarantee that they're two ounces is that we use our scale. We do a double strand twist so that's 0.7 ounce. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Okay, one ounce there, and one ounce here. Oh, come on, thing. Okay, so if you'll notice, I took my little bit of dough, I rolled it out into a rope. Um, what that does is it helps you kind of get on a roll. Now I know that one ounce is about that much, so the next time I try to cut a piece that's one ounce, I know that it's probably gonna be somewhere in that neighborhood. I may not be perfect every time, but it takes a lot less time than if I'm trying to cut from this big bulk of dough. I have no idea if I'm close or not. Um, this process really works great if you work in pairs and one person can measure and one person can do the shaping. You guys can switch off, whatever makes you happy. As long as the job gets done. And this might start off a little slow for you guys, but as you get going, you'll kind of get a feel for what exactly one ounce looks like. All right. So I have six pieces here, which is enough for th um, three breadsticks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle down a very tiny amount of flour because my dough's a little on the wet side. You may not even need flour at all. Hope you don't. Um, I'm going to take my little ball of dough. I'm going to roll it into a rope. And I'm gonna use this part of my fingers right here and this part of my hands. Um, and I want it to be even all the way through. So I'm not working these ends a whole bunch and not the middle and I'm not working the middle and not the ends. I'm trying really to get the whole thing um, kind of the same length. And it doesn't need to be super long. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. I'm gonna leave that one here, move on to my next one. Great. And guys, I've been doing this for a long time, so it may not go as quick for you the very first time, and that's okay. By the end of the year, you'll be cruising. All right, so once I've got all my little ropes, and you can do these two at a time and then twist them and then move on. Um, I just did six because that's what, how much I happened to grab. If you get too much flour on this tabletop, your breadsticks are gonna be really, really hard to roll out. So try not to do that. Try doing it with no flour. If your dough is too sticky, then add just a little bit at a time until you get it just right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two ends and pinch them together really good. Don't worry if it looks really stupid, we're gonna tuck it in. Then we're just gonna twist this way, this way, this way. Trying to keep it as even as possible and then pinch those ends together again. Um, if it's not looking perfect, you can kind of keep twisting once you pick it up. 
all those like wrinkles, it's hard to get the camera to focus on it. Any wrinkles you see are probably gonna proof out. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the shape of the twist itself. And I wanna make sure the breadstick is nice and straight. And then I want them all to be about the same length. They should be um, between three and four inches, I would say. If they're really short and squatty, they don't look like you're getting much. If they're really long and thin, um, they kind of don't bake perfect, so we try to avoid that. All right, so again, I'm just gonna take this one and this one. This end's a little fatter, so I'm gonna stick it with this end. And just cross over, cross over, cross over. Okay. And then I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna leave room. These are gonna double in size, so I don't wanna put them right next to each other or they're gonna bake together like a pull apart roll. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay guys, this is really important. Whatever it looks like right now, it's gonna look like the same thing when it's baked, but twice as big. So, well, almost twice as big. So if I put my breadstick on here and it looks like this, it's gonna bake like that. And I can't serve that to a guest. So take the time now to make sure I mean, this is the same dough that I just showed you. Take the time now to make sure you get it as straight as possible, as even as possible, nice twists. I know today's the first day you're making them. If they're not perfect, it's okay. But think about if I was the Olive Garden, I got this breadstick, would I be ticked off, right? Um, that I'm paying for it. So basically you're just gonna fill up this whole tray we're gonna let them proof again until they're almost doubled in size and then I'll show you exactly what that looks like um, before we go ahead and finish the job, all right?